What's Gucci everybody, it's AJ here again, and today I want to make another C tutorial on how to, the best way of testing in C. In testing in C, there's not a lot of great ways to test, besides using a debugger, which is not fun because you have to look at assembly language. But there are, um, there is a really simple way to test in C, and that is by using something called the assert statement. So I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to use the assert statement, which allows you to catch bugs and easily test your code. So the first thing we have to do to a test assert, assert statement is we need to include it in our director in our C program. And the way we do that is we include assert.h. Pretty nice, uh, pretty easy, and it's handy. And so what the assert statement does is it's a method that is a check. Um, you put a comparison in, and, the, and at the runtime, the program um, checks if that comparison is correct or not. And if it is false, then it exits out of the program and nicely reports it to you. So let me just show you guys. So let me show you guys right now. So for instance, I so let's make a method. Let's call it int magic, and I'm gonna magic is going to take a integer called size and it's going to take an integer pointer called um we'll just call it ptr right now and i forget my sum i'm going to put a semicolon because that's my method header i'm going to copy this and i'm going to define the method down here and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the asserts i'm going to use the assert statement so i'm going to do assert let's see if my compiler recognizes it so assert so one thing i can assert is that i can assert that ptr does not equal null. So I want this, so if this is false, the program is going to exit and report an error. And I also want to assert that the size is greater than or equal to 30. So the size has to be greater than 30 and the pointer has to be null. So let's try running this program. Or let me just try calling the magic method in my main method. So I'm gonna call magic Um, I'm going to put a semicolon afterwards, and let's give it a size of 50 and a pointer of null. So, so if you can get, so I would, so definitely before I run this program, I got my console right here. Think about what it's going to print out. Think about what it's going to do, and what I'm going to do. So I'm going to run the program, and so hopefully the asserts catches the null pointer, the null pointer I passed in. So I'm going to run this program. And I get at assert, assertion failed, pointer does not equal null function magic. So as you can see, um, sometimes in C, you can get really weird errors, like just say a segmentation fault, which doesn't tell you much. But if you do assert, it gives you a really nice error message. It tells you, you know, pointer does not equal null. So it, te it doesn't tell you where, where the pointer became null. Like, for instance, I just pointed here, but it tells you that when it enters this magic method, it told me when it gets to this line in the magic method, the pointer is null. So I may need to look back and see, and I can put, I can then put um, other, um, you know, assert statements up the up my programming tree or program and see if they have po pointers. And also, so let me declare an int pointer um, let's call it PTR, and I'll set it equal to I'll set it to the address of A. And so what that is going to do? So now I'm going to set I'm going to pass in pointer, and we're going to run this program again. Note uh, all this, and I'm going to run the program, and my output was blank and that is because i did not print anything out i'll put it puts right here <sighs> so if i run this program with the puts we'll see if it gets down to the puts and when i run it i get it done so that's pretty nice so i got it done uh let's see what if i made the what if I made the size 10, um, 10? What would that do? Would that throw an assert? Think about it. Think about it. Size must be greater than 30. So yes, that throws an assertion statement. So assertion statement just takes a Boolean. It takes a comparison. You can say anything. You can make a logical comparison. You can make an equality comparison. But you can just put in the equal statement, and it will check it if it's right or wrong for you, which is pretty nice. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope everything is OK. 
and have a great day. I will post this on my GitHub site, and you can look at the you can look at an example down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I'll see you guys later.